Little time travellers and jelly spoon defenders at Earth, welcome back to Friday 5 Minute Facts, the show that takes you back to the golden age of gaming, coming at you live via video tape from Orbital Broadcast Bunker, Britain's first and only airborne subterranean studio. Today we're embarking on a journey to the quirky, the strange and the utterly unique world of Earthbound. Ah, Earthbound, a game so legendary it was included in Tome with 1001 video games you must play before you die by Tony Mott, but did you know that its journey to our hearts had quite the aromatic start? A US ad campaign decided that kids like farting, plastering magazines with scratch and sniff cards, proudly proclaiming this game stinks. Stinks eh? I think you'll find my cooking has received similar reviews. Daring pirates looking to seal the high seas of copyright infringement, Earthbound had a nasty surprise, a built-in copy protection system that not only increased enemy encounters, but would freeze and wipe your game during its final battle. Talk about a bad trip, here's a wipeout worse than last night down the dog and duck. The genius behind Earthbound, Shigigaso Ito, poured personal and even traumatic memories into game, from Nessa's absent father inspired by Ito's own childhood, to the unsettling dialogue of Gias, reminiscent of a disturbing scene where Iato witnessed a movie as a child. I say it brings a whole new meaning to putting yourself in your work. And it's just not what made it into the game that fascinates, but what changed a long way. From cultural adjustments like changing a butt-hurting punishment to lose dessert privileges, to Nessa's unexpected birthday suit moment, Earthbound dances on the fine line between cultural nuance and universal themes. Birthday suit you say? At my age it's more of a survival suit. Packaged with an oversized box and official player's guide, Earthbound was as much an experience as it was a game, complete with scratch and sniff cards that left a lasting impression. I thought these were supposed to smell like Victory Pat. Smells more like... Old Socks? Earthbound's legacy goes beyond its initial reception, from its influence on later titles to its characters appearing in games like Super Smash Bros. It's a testament to creativity, nostalgia and the power of a good story. And a good scratch and sniff apparently. If you've enjoyed this trip down memory lane, don't forget to hit the old subscribe button. Join us as we uncover more gaming gems from the archive of gaming history. Share your earthbound memories in the comments down below. Did you brave the stinky ads to discover the genius within? Thanks again for watching and we shall see you soon. Cheerio. Hey!